Hey guys, welcome to your Leo versus all tall signs reading for March 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. First, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in March. And then we'll finish off the read with you, the Leo versus all tall signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Just a quick note that these messages are so quick, they're not timestamps. They're not like my... Uh, lives okay when i do all the 12 signs so if someone wants to you know time stamp them for me uh you could feel, feel free to do so i would uh, really appreciate that and thank you in advance uh keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you you may take a look at your other placements keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um uh, Leo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. All right, so Leo. What is going on with Leo in March 2024? What's surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know for March 2024? For Leo, for Leo. Talk about Leo. Leo for March 2024. What is surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know? What can Leo expect for March 2024? So we have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Six of Wands here in the reverse. So Leo, I feel like right now you're definitely reassessing your life right now, especially when it comes to your career and your finances here. Because with the Six of Wands in the reverse right now, in this very moment, you're not feeling like you're achieving anything or that you're not feeling successful here. So I feel like you're going back to your drawing boards on how to get to that successful place. Perhaps at some point you achieved it, uh, but something happened here where I feel like you know, maybe you're reassessing your life. Maybe you guys, some of you guys could be going through some sort of like midlife crisis or something like that. I don't know, but you guys are definitely looking back or reassessing your life, trying to figure out what to do next here. I just feel like you're just really confused at this time here. Okay, you could be walking through life or someone here could be walking through life. Uh, just wearing rose colored glasses here and not accepting for things that have happened here. And basically utilizing your experience to empower yourself to basically stand and walk on your own two feet here. I do feel like this is like really pulling someone's energies down here. All right, what else do we have here for Leo? We have the Queen of Cups here and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, there's there could be someone here that is, you know, fallen in love with you here, Leo. But you could be in the situation where I feel like you're not really feeling so great about yourself, where I feel like you're not accepting this love. Or that someone here could be supporting on you, trying to help you here, but you're not receiving it well or that you're not accepting it, okay? Um, Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for both. Seven of Pentacles. I do feel like there's a work situation here where I feel like you're starting to waste your time in the situation here because you feel like you're not really going anywhere. Yeah, maybe there's no growth and expansion here. Yeah, you're just not really feeling good about this whole situation. And I feel like maybe you're having a hard time, you know, taking action and executing and making some changes here. With the magician here, Gemini Virgo, you know, I feel like you have the abilities to overcome this. Yeah, this is a matter of just really just kind of getting out of yourself and taking action here. We have the King of Wands here and the Five of Cups. And yeah, I just feel like you're disappointed in some sort of work situation here. Yeah, you're really disappointed in some sort of work situation here. And Two of Swords and the Two of Wands. And I feel like you definitely have the abilities to make this change if you choose to. Because right now you're just kind of stuck at a crossroads here. Yeah, and this is all also affecting a relationship that you're in. Because I do feel like we're, there is someone here that's being very supportive of you. You know, trying to be patient with you, trying to take care of you. I mean, the roles could be switched. Maybe your your person's dealing with this work situation here or that their their self-confidence has taken a hit here. Uh, or, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and you're supporting this individual here with the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Whoever you're dealing with here, whoever this feminine energy is, I feel like this person's trying to give you everything that you want or give you everything um, to support you, to help you on in this difficult time here. I mean, some of you guys could have lost a job here too. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have for Leo? Leo versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Aries versus all 12 signs from uh, Aries. Uh, Leo versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. 
Let's see. Tell me about Leo versus Aries. Leo versus Aries. Leo versus Aries. With the Four of Wands here and the Queen of Wands. Uh, between you and this Aries here, Leo, you guys are just really happy with where you guys are at. There's stability. There's happiness. There's commitment. There's passion here. Things are going A-OK. -okay. Things are going well. All right. Uh, uh, Leo versus a Taurus here with a Ten of Swords here and the Page of Cups. Um, so this Taurus is coming back in with an apology here for betraying you. Okay, so this person, so expect an apology from a Taurus here that betrayed you here. Uh, the thing is, I feel like this person dropped the ball a couple of times, and you feel like this person will drop the ball again. Tell me about uh, Leo versus a Gemini here with the Seven of Swords here and the uh, King of Pentacles. This person's a liar here. Be careful, because I feel like this person might be out for money, and they, if they're trying to take advantage of you, uh, this Gemini here. Leo versus the Cancer here with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Four of Swords. Um, I feel like this person's really, 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 really shy. Okay, uh, you know, I feel like when you communicate with this person, they might seem quiet, they might not speak a lot. Um, I just feel like it's just this, this, pers this person's personality. I just feel like they're just not really chatty, Leo. Leo versus uh, Leo. We have the Five of Swords here and the Page of Pentacles. Um, Someone here wants to come in with an apology here for doing you dirty. I feel like this person played a lot of mind games here with you or that this person was really manipulative towards you and I feel like this person wants to apologize. Leo versus a Virgo. We have the Five of Wands here and the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. I feel like this Virgo is having a hard time letting go of a grudge here. Letting go of a misunderstanding that you guys had here. And I feel like you guys are unable to move on because this person keeps bringing it up over and over and over and over again. Uh, Leo versus the Libra here with the Ten of Cups here and the Page of Swords. I feel like this person wants to tell you that they want higher levels of commitment here with you. Or that this person sees you as their happily ever after here. Okay. Uh, Leo versus a Scorpio. We have the Nine of Wands here and the World card. Um... This Scorpio seems to be ending things here with you because I feel like this person feels very hurt by you. So there could be a cycle that's ending with the Scorpio here, uh, between you and your uh, Scorpio here, Leo. Uh, Leo versus a Sagittarius here with the Queen of Cups here and the Knight of Swords. I feel like what this person wants to do is that they, tell, they want to tell you that they love you. They want to tell you that they care about you a lot here and they want to be with you. Leo versus a Capricorn here. We have the Justice card and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, between you and this Capricorn here, Leo, you guys could be playing in marriage. Yeah, you guys could be planning marriage right now, could be planning your wedding ceremony or something like that. But there's marriage and commitment that's happening between you and this Capricorn, Leo. Leo versus Aquarius with the Three of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. This person cheated on you, had a one night stand, and this person will break your heart. Okay. Um, uh, Leo versus Versus the Pisces here with the Moon card and the Strength card here. This person's definitely holding a lot back. I feel like this person has deep emotions here towards you that you might not know about, and I feel like this person's holding back and not really saying a whole lot here. It could be an indication that this person has some deep fears in pursuing a relationship here with you too, this Pisces Leo. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.